Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. When last I left off, uh, Orwell became a samurai, I did a bunch of grinding stuff, that's right. Everybody's level 16 except for Chanel and Orwell who are 14 and 15 respectively. Um, I got, I, do you have enough? You do. Got her lightning stab. So she has lightning stab, which is great. Orwell is a samurai now. He has samurai swords, which has draw out. Um, I tested it out. I'm not sure if it breaks the swords. Didn't look it up like I said I probably would. Like I said, I also would. So it's all, you know, it's all exactly as I said. Rams is an archer right now. I don't know if that's smart or not. <laughs> In case there's a random encounter on my way over to Dorder here. I, uh, I'm gonna leave him an archer. There was not. Let's see if there's a random encounter in the Zeckless Desert. There is. Let's see, so him being an archer was intelligent. Hmm. If this random encounter doesn't take too long, then we'll probably do the story mission as well. But if it does take a while, this might be all that happens in this episode? Um, so maybe, like, take a look at the episode, and if you don't want to watch just another episode about me doing random grinding stuff, maybe, like, skip ahead. Either skip ahead to the next combat to avoid the grindy combat, or just skip the video. I mean, however you want to do it, but I just am warning you, if this random combat takes a little while, I might not do another video tonight. I just wanted to get some of this game in um, tonight because I'm really enjoying playing this game. And I wanted to get some of it in tonight because tonight's been kind of a long night for me and I haven't gotten to play it like at all. I haven't gotten to play it at all at night. Um, I tried playing some Final Fantasy 3 to like lull myself into a and, 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 yeah, I don't know. Tonight's been a long night, let's put it that way. And so now I'm playing this because it's what I should have been doing all day, probably, because this game is great, and uh, how could you be in a bad mood when you play Fallen Tactics? You can't. That's the spoiler alert. Um, I... Lightning Stab is super cool. Okay, great. Uh, go there. Just, why not? Rush them? Probably can't use lightning stab on him. No. I know I skipped one of her moves to get to lightning stab quickly, but meh. Why would I not? Um, he is an archer. Let's see if he can shoot anything. Nope. Can't shoot anything. But he sure the heck can yell about it. Put him. I think job leveled up. There we go. We're done. He's job level. He's got ninja. That's moral of the story there. He is a ninja. She still just has summon magic instead of summon and blue. or er, and black. Blue. There is no blue magic. That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty cool though. I gotta say down from the idea of there being blue magic. Drains HP. Forty-eight. Not bad. Spell Absorb is also actually pretty good. You can steal MP with it and get MP back. They all have chances to work though, so... I probably should have casted Protect, huh? Oh well. We won't really need it. Besides, this way, if she sits, if she just waits, she'll get her next turn sooner. Why do my allergies always pick up the moment I start recording? I don't know why. I think it's because I start talking, maybe? I don't know. 
But my nose always picks up the moment I start recording. I couldn't tell you why it happens. It just does. Well, it's not a better version of the bird. So I'm not upset that I don't have... Those are also basic bombs. They aren't grenades. So I'm not upset that I don't have a uh, monster skill with me right now. Lightning stab! Silence. I think lightning stab status effect actually does occur more often. Now I can draw out the Azura knife. Be like, yeah. and do damage to both of them, which is awesome. I love it. It's so great, it's awesome and cool. Uh, let's see. Let's save some experience for the rest of the people who actually still need it, and just do a Moogle. She actually, now that I remember what I'm fighting here, I actually can do some curing to kill these things. Which is pretty cool. Life drain actually probably wouldn't be good for me. Yeah, it would give them life back. <laughs> but cure two! Cure two is gonna cause them just a bit of, a bit of a problem. Run, Ramza! Oh. Oh, you were not a happy camper. If that hits. Charge plus one! If it hits. Bing, 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 bing! Do, 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 do. Charge plus one! Pow! Seven, seven! Experience 28 job points. Two whole MP. Don't steal MP from bombs. Doesn't get you anywhere. Level up! Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. And. Whack! Job level up! Doop do and kapow. Knife hand guarded. Get your stupid knife hand out of here. Just gonna run away? Alright. No, that's fine. You can run away. I believe Lightning Stab has the range to get you both. Oh, nope, he's way over there. It didn't- it did not look like that from that other angle. Like, at all. I mean, look at that. They look literally right next to each other. Like, across. I thought that he was in this space, because of how that looks. Yeah, that was... That was very wrong. That's okay. I think that from here I can actually get him with the Azura thing. Yeah. Legendary sword that kills freely! Azura! Wow. Yeah, I think you only need the one. I don't think they can break. So I think just having... Just the one of them is fine. I don't think I've ever used E for it, have I? Have a bad time. I've never used the spell. Let's see how it looks. Oh, I remember summon now. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I still think I like Shiva the most out of the base two or the base three. Um, it's probably Shiva Ramu Efrit for me. Cause he just kind of like spins around with fire. It's it's not like super cool. I mean, it's not lame, but it's not you know not anything special. 
button's weird, because it's like, it feels like it should hit the whole field, and it only hits that little space. The other ones, at least, you can kind of see the localization of the, of the damage. I mean, I'm stretching it, but you can kind of see it. It's kind of there. I don't really need life, but we'll do damage, so might as well. 83% chance to do 21. I'm gonna take a 95% chance to paralyze it and walk over here. No, right over here. Iris, come down here and make this bomb a sad f Actually, no. Don't go make that bomb a sad face. Go make this bomb a sad face. Because I think he can probably still Azura knife that one and make it- Oh, no, he could just smack it with his sword if he wants to. Whack. Done. Samurai seems to have a little bit lower damage output than other uh, other fighter classes, but he's got the, the the abilities off the swords, which are probably all semi-unique. Yeah, you can't even act anymore. You're just really screwed. You can probably still. Oh no, I can't. Never mind. Can't shoot from there. I can shoot from here. Kabang! So, like I warned, that is actually probably all I'm going to do tonight. I know it's a bit of a shorter episode, um, and I know it wasn't really exciting because it, it was just a Zekla Stutter Desert battle. Um, there's going to be a bit of formation I'm going to handle here. Um, things like Ramza no longer being an, an archer, um, so especially since he can be a ninja. Um, the throw is what the ninja does. Ninjas can throw weapons. Um, you have to learn to throw certain types of weapons. Um, shurikens and balls are their base throwing items. You can buy those, and it's, they're the only ones who can use it. Two swords is basically what you ninja for, though. Um, oh, okay. The vapor set rises and it becomes easier to dodge attacks. Physical attacks and some magic attacks trigger it. Um, but, like, yeah, you basically get it to learn two swords. Um, throwing is okay. The shurikens are decent. Um, the balls are also decent. They do, like, magic damage. They're alright. Um, as you can tell, throwing all the other weapons is, uh, like, it's basically free. The JP cost for learning the ability to throw stuff is negligible. Matter of fact, ninja in general is a relatively negligible... JP cost ability. If you just wanted two swords, you're only going to be ninja level four-ish in order to get it. Um, I don't think I'm going to have him be a ninja. I think I'm just going to learn shuriken and hold off. We're going to probably go back. We're going to go back to Lancer. Um, like I said, he would be. He's going to be a Lancer. I need him to get equipped spear before I am willing to move on from him being a Lancer. Um, and to be honest, I bet that where he goes back to is Squire. Um, he's got a bunch more skill points in Squire, so I might not need to. But I'm pretty sure he gets another move, another uh, leader type move um, in Chapter 4, I think. Chapter 4 or 5. He gets more moves in the squire in his squire class. Um, I also don't know if he keeps his squire class the whole game. It might turn into something else. I'm not actually sure. 
I always feel like Ramza should get some of the cool moves that the other characters you get have, but I don't think he does. <laughs> but I am gonna make him into, not a ninja, but a lancer. Um, I really doubt you can two sword spears, which is one of the reasons why making him a, s yeah, you can two hand spears. So making him, if I wanted to have him do like a bunch of damage with a spear, I could make him go for the samurai class, which would take a lot of work. Because in order for him to get that, he'd have to level up Knight and Monk. Yeah, he's only three in Monk and two in Knight. And he needs to be three and four. So he'd have to gain a level in each. Which wouldn't be too bad, but I want him to have equipped Spear before I do it. Um, because then he could be, like, a Knight with a Spear. Um, and I could... I could keep Jump. And then he basically would be... a Lancer still. Except he'd be leveling Knight. So, that's kind of what I want to do. Um, and it's the same thing with, like, if I have a Quip Spear while I'm a Monk. Um, I'll be able to level Monk while still basically just being a Lancer. Um, which is pretty great. I know it, it covers up the game job points up one, so it might not do that. I don't know. I have to cons consider what I'm actually going to do with Ramza. For now! He's gonna go back to Lancer because it's fun and I like it and eventually he'll have the ability to jump like onto the whole screen and that'll be cool. Um, <laughs> ignore height would be awesome. So yeah, lots of cool stuff. Uh, let's see. Your samurai class over here. We didn't quite get enough to learn how to use the Kotetsu ability, which releases the spirit of the katana. Cry of the Banshee released in a brutal wave. Its range is auto. Its effect is three vertical, three enemies. This looks like it has the same range. Auto range, three vertical, three enemy. Oh, enemy means it can only affect enemy. Three means that it's three range out. And it's got three vertical. Okay. So it's the same it's the same range. Ooh, that causes MP damage. So the Kotetsu is actually probably just better than the, the Azura ability. Ooh! The Murasame ability recovers HP. This one adds slow. Okay, so they do start to get interesting. This one adds Protect and Shell. Gulf's allies in a protective veil. Ooh. Gradually remove the soul of the enemy. Confuse them and give them death sentence. Ouch. <laughs> Charges the enemy in rage. This one does damage. In four directions. So it, it goes out in all four directions, eight long. So it's just a huge line in four different ways. Wow. Regan in haste. Oh, that's great. We might... I might be keeping him a samurai. These abilities seem really good. Two hands is a great ability too. It'll do ton he'll do tons of damage with it. That actually sounds like a great counter too. Like when he gets down to critical HP, he just is like, "Nope, you're gonna take this much." I'm just gonna start. Like, is it like when he's at critical HP, he just starts doing his max HP and damage, like? Cause that would be nuts. That'd be nuts. All right, Agrius, Holy Knight, you didn't get nothing. Not anywhere near enough for anything. I actually think it's time for Agrius to switch from Holy Knight for a little bit and just be a standard knight until she learns Equip Sword. Although I know that would 
take away her gain JP up to do it. So she would gain job points for chemist slower. But at least she'd still be able to equip swords and use holy holy knight skills. I do want her to gain chemist abilities, though. I really do. It's just that as a chemist, she can't use her holy sword. Unless she has equipped knight, equipped sword. So, you're gonna be a knight. You're gonna have to gain chemist skills slowly. That's like the only thing I can see to do. Have holy sword, and you need to get enough... You need 400 job points in order to be able to equip swords. Which is fine, we can get there, that's not, that's not too bad. It's a few fights, but... I mean, it's blind. Blind wouldn't be terrible. I confuse is the, the spell I want here, though. I mean, blind's alright, but... Yeah, I'm gonna stick out with it for a little bit. You need to have your black magic set, for one. And then we need to come in here, your summoner, you don't have enough points for anything. I probably should be starting to learn the threes, though. Here's where he's 400. I'm gonna grab blind and swap back over to priest again. I was thinking, I know I was thinking about making her be a priest time mage. Um, I'm still thinking about that. Uh, because priests only really have protect and shell. And I've got my wizard doing just basically nothing but damage and a little bit of extra summoning for some summoning buffs. Which is where all of her buffs are going to come from. And so while I'm talking about justifying her being a time mage, I'm actually already doing it. I see that. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I, I, I'm gonna throw away the oracle stuff. I don't think that- I think that was kind of a waste of... I think that was kind of a waste of skill points. Um, she's gonna be... She's gonna be time white. Time white will work pretty well in this game. I apparently have nothing for a white mage to equip. Because you have a rainbow staff. You should not have a rainbow staff. Um, I'll swap you over to fire, though. I've had you on ice for a long time. Can I equip two? No. Okay. You're gonna be left-handed. I don't know if you are or not. I mean, does it, does it matter? It doesn't matter. She's left-handed. Whatever. We'll make her left-handed for now. She's ambidextrous, I guess. I don't know. Have a rainbow staff. There you go. Much better. Much better. What are you doing with this armor? This is gross. You don't need... You have no MP because of that. There you go. Oh my god, you did it too. No wonder you had no MP in that fight. There's your 79 MP you're supposed to have. What'd you equip... Okay, you still have the magic gauntlet. That's good. You have the wizard mantle. And it wasn't able to get her a magic outlet. They're expensive, so. Wizard Mantle's kind of the next best thing. Gives plus one. So. Um, why do you. Oh, right, the game gave you a Wizard Mantle. And it, it is probably right. If I remember right, the Wizard Mantle is plus one to. Oh no, it's just magic. 
Was it this that's both physical and magic? Yeah. He needs a diamond armlet. That's what he needs. He needs a diamond armlet. I will get him one some other time, I think. Although, hold on. This is why I said there's only going to be the one fight in this. You're a knight. You don't really have to have it. I could give you a power wrist and you would be okay. Except for that I like Agrius more. Agrius, never mind. I like you more. You need to have your diamond armor. Right? Um, I'm gonna take the risk that the Zekless Desert's gonna make me fight again. If it does, I won't record it. Um, I think you can buy diamond armlets here, so, yes, they're only 5,000, so I'm gonna buy another one. I'm actually gonna buy two more, just because they are really good. Cause now I can, oh, it doesn't think that's best for some reason. Trust me game, that's best. I, that is what I want him to have. Plus one to magic, plus one to attack. I have a defense ring? I don't think I need a defense ring. Um, I don't think I need a diamond armlet either, really. I mean, I'm, well, it cancels slow. That's not bad. I mean, yeah, sleep and death sentence. But don't move and don't act would be better in my opinion. But either way, I am going to go with the Diamond Armlet. Cancel Slow gives me plus one to attack power and plus one to magic power. I don't have anything that gives plus two to attack power, so... Absorbs fire and halves ice, but gives you a weakness to water. Alright, well I'm glad I caught that... Me having the defense ring thing. That's, like, never gonna come up, and when it does- I mean, when it does, I would be really happy that I have it, but until it does, I'm gonna just continuously waste my accessory slot, so. And when it does, you can always lose, go back in, and, you know, have equipped for it, so. Which is why you keep all your accessories in this game. Never sell them. But anyways, when we come back, we will do those red dots. Like I said, if there is a battle here on the way there, I'll either just reload and try to get a, a run where there isn't one, or I will not do it and go to the red dot instead. Um, I'm actually going to just do it right now, see if it happens. It did. See, that's kind of what I figured was going to happen. That's why I didn't want to do it before saving, so that's why I saved first. Um, I'm not going to do this right now, so because I don't want to fight this battle. So, yeah, when we come back, more Final Fantasy Tactics, not a Zeckless Desert random encounter. I apologize if this episode was boring. It probably was. And, uh, yeah, what happens, happens. I'll see you all then. Have a good one.